Hey everyone, I am at the Bistro Edgewood in State Line, Nevada. Interestingly enough, it's called State Line because you could walk from California to Nevada and vice versa easily. They're so close. And I'm starting off here with a dragonberry fojito. So berry like blackberry, dragon fruit. I guess it's the pink dragon fruit. And it also has you know, the usual mint, lime, soda water. This is one of three restaurants at the Edgewood, which is a five-star hotel right along Lake Tahoe. I've arrived right at five o'clock, which is when they open for dinner, but they're also open for breakfast and lunch. So it's very sunny out right now, but I'm told this is one of the best places in State Line to watch the sunset over Lake Tahoe, which is right behind me. I'm starting with the curry and lime mussels. It was between that and the lobster bisque. And it also comes with Truckee sourdough. Truckee is a place in California, I believe, and I think it's also a river. So with the soup, I could definitely smell the herbs, notice them as soon as they brought it to my table. Spice-wise, these mussels are about a 4.5. Um, I don't like going beyond five as far as spice goes, but uh, this definitely has a lot of flavor. It's kind of rich. I'm enjoying the warm trucky sourdough bread. For my entree, I'm having the prairie venison loin. So the meat's very tender. I'm told that's the best way to enjoy it. There's a lingonberry uh, demi-glace on there, I believe. And I'm told that I don't even need the steak knife for this, so we'll test that theory right now. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the butter knife and see if he's telling me the truth. Yeah, look, it just pulls right apart very easily. And this is roasted acorn squash with crispy parsnips on the top. I appreciate how the venison is mild compared to the spice of the mussels, but I'm gonna say if I had to compare the two, I'm gonna say I give the edge to the mussels. Um, it just had such a strong flavor. Um, they soaked up the bread really nice. I'm talking about the curry it was served in with the coconut milk. For dessert, I'm having the Edgewood apple pie. So those are little sugar cookie pieces. It's vanilla ice cream doused in caramel sauce. The outer pie crust is very thick, but what I do have to say is without these little sugar cookie pieces, I don't think I'd enjoy this dish as much as I am. Now, if you did not get the heaviest dessert at the bistro, you might have room for something else. So. This is s'mores, which is 6.30 to 8 o'clock every evening, 365 days a year. That's Hershey's chocolate from my home state of Pennsylvania, graham cracker, marshmallow, and conveniently enough, they're all right here. Grab the one you want, then you take one of these skewers and you go right out here, roast marshmallows along Lake Tahoe. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I got more trips coming up soon. I got Madison and Milwaukee and Wisconsin. Also later this month, I have Eureka Springs, Arkansas. It's gonna be my first time there. Then I'm going to South Carolina in May. And then for Memorial Day weekend, I'm heading out to Phoenix, Arizona. And then in June, my first trip ever to Tupelo, Mississippi. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you soon.